Well, another figure that you knew or were associated with somehow was uh, Nicky Scarfo. Yes. Who was the boss of the Philly crime family. Correct. Now, Nicky had an interesting story because as he was going through his his trials and arrests and everything, he had a son named Mark Scarfo who actually tried to kill himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, and essentially succeeded. He tried to hang himself. They managed to 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 you know stop him from dying, but he went into a coma and he was in that coma until he died. So essentially right. his son killed himself. And it was allegedly because of all the pressure of what his dad was doing. Yes. So uh, tell me about Nikki and, and this whole story. Well, listen, I'm not familiar. I, I mean, I don't have personal knowledge of that story. In other words, I wasn't a part of it. I wasn't there. Different crew, obviously, from Philly. But uh, I knew Nikki fairly well, and I liked Nikki a lot. You know, I had a good relationship with him. And the main thing that we were doing, we were going to organize the security guards in uh, Atlantic City. So we were planning to do that together. As a result, I met with him, you know, a couple of times in that regard because he had control in Atlantic City. Uh, but, yeah, that was a very sad story. Look, Nicky was, uh, you know, he was, he was one of those little crazy guys I would like to, I, I would say, even though when we sat down, he was, he was pretty normal. But... Look, there is a lot of pressure on the children of guys in the mob. I mean, look, my sister became a drug addict. My brother became a drug addict. My, if you listen to my brother talk, he says, Mike, I don't know how we came out of that life any way normal. And I said, well, bro, you, you didn't come out normal. You know, <laughs> you had a lot of problems. He says, well, I don't know how you survived. I said, well, I don't know either. I guess I'm just blessed. But it you know, it's a whole different atmosphere growing up, especially when you have somebody as high profile as Sonny Francis or Nikki Scarfa. I mean, it's it's a lot of pressure. It really is, Vlad. Right. I mean, because when you hear these stories, you know, because his son, when he hung himself, was 17. Right. Uh, I mean, he can he was still in high school. Uh, and when you hear these types of stories with the families of these mob guys, you look at that story. Then you look at your story with your family, and it's not much different. Disaster. Uh, and is this essentially most families are like this? You know, I'm in touch with, uh, with three sons of fathers that were in that life, three of them whose dads were murdered or doing a lot of time in prison. And every one of them have severe emotional problems. Severe. And they, you know, they took to me, we talk and we had, uh, you know, I advise them or whatever as best I can, try to minister to them. But, but I mean, it's a lot of pressure on the families. And, you know, young kids, they have, a, I, I t- I'll tell you something, it's, it's, I don't know if there's a relationship between this two, but I'll tell you, young kids have a problem, some of them coping with things. My friend is the chief of police over at UCLA, chief of police. He said once a month, we have a hanging there from a student that can't, except the pressure of being in UCLA and succeeding. I was shocked at that statistic. He said almost once a month. Well, imagine what guys have, what, what these young people have to go through in, in, with, with a father in the mob. Who's getting arrested? Who's getting locked up? Police come at six o'clock in the morning. Today you got money, tomorrow you have nothing. Problem with the, you know, your mom going through all of this. Your I mean, it's tough. It's very, very tough. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't even imagine being woken up at six in the morning and my family getting arrested and, and so forth. But that was just a regular a regular occurrence for you guys. You know how many times I, I, I went through that? I mean, my dad was arrested five or six times. And they always come at six in the morning, guns blazing, microphone outside the house, come out with your hands up, the rest of the neighborhood looking on, what's doing? Everybody now knows who you are. You go to school, you got to hear all the nonsense. You know, your dad's a mafia dad. You know, I mean, this is a lot for a young person to handle. I mean, my sisters couldn't handle it. My brother couldn't handle it properly. Um, So I understand. I don't, I don't know how, honestly, I I don't know how I got out of there halfway normal. I really don't. 